Hello ancient history fans, and especially Gobekli Tepe fans. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a summary, a one video summary with everything on it about this stone. It is a map of the Levant, it is from the Natufians, and it's actually been draped over the stone. I'm gonna go through everything first in a summary, okay? And then I'll go back and do some details. But what this is is a physical map. And on a physical map, it doesn't have to be proportionally correct. What it needs to be is just the shapes need to be right, oriented correctly as well, and in the right direction. So you could just tell somebody, hey, I'll meet you at the tail of the scorpion or at the head of the snake. And as long as you knew the orientation of everything, the vast distances between them wouldn't matter as long as you were going in the right direction. So on this map here, what we're looking at going is the, this would be the Dead Sea. The Jordan River is up through here. This is the Golan Heights up into, uh, this is Mount Hermon. And I wanna show you something here for those of you that didn't see my pre previous videos, but if you just put a, a line through the middle of this stone, it doesn't go through the circle, it goes through this part right here. That is Mount Hermon. And up to, this is through the Mediterranean and over here is in the Euphrates area here, okay? Now, to get it all on the pillar, they had to shape it right, and I'm gonna explain that in a minute. So right now, let's start from the bottom and go around. I'll show you all the shapes and then get into detail. So on the left side, of the map, starting from the bottom. As far as the animals, you can see the dog, it comes off the Dead Sea. Uh, these two animals, I'm gonna explain later, they're right between the legs of the dog, uh, the beaked animal and man. You've got the, this one's easy, it's the snake, you know, it, it just winds through here and comes around Amman and into Urbid. So it's around this mountain structure here, okay? Then you've got the, the scorpion out here in the mountains I'll show you, and, the, and here is the Golan Heights with the circle I'm going to show you with Mount Hermon, okay? So that's everything north and south. That's orienting it north and south. See that right from, from the dog all the way up to Mount Hermon. So now when we move the map sideways and make north and south this way, um, you'll see from Mount Hermon on, here we go. We've got Mount Hermon and uh, what's that, Talat Musa. This is the second highest mountain here. Just the two mountains as they show. You've got the Baca Valley here. You've got the uh, uh, Mount Lebanon Mountains here on the coast. And then you've got big waves here, right? Tossing about... Uh, a man, a, a, a big animal, small animal, you know, warning people, hey, this is, this is not good water. It's salt water and, it's, <laughs> and it, it's, it's dangerous. And back in that time, lots of flooding. And of course, in the distance, you can see Cyprus. They'd see the mountains like that. And then to the right, just like on the pillar, um, the, you see the, the head of the bird there comes through here, right behind uh, uh, the mountains here and down through Palmyra. There's mountains that go straight into the Euphrates River. Here you've got outside of Aleppo, there's the back end of a tail here, comes through here, and this is where the Euphrates comes in. This is a watershed structure over here that comes in. This is used twice. Now this part of the map is used twice. It's used here like this, but because of tectonic plates and all that, things can repeat themselves. All right, it's kind of like the head of this bird. Look at right here, there's a whole nother head of a bird right there, beautiful looking, right? But however, for, for this, it's a little sneaky if you would know this too. So looking over here, if you turn the map north and south again, you'll see all of these structures, including this pillar right there. So turning the map north and south again, here's their world. Let me zoom in. You see, the, the, there's the, the, the dog, right? You come up and there's the, the vulture here. Now what I did is I highlighted. That's the circle in Mount Hermon, and that's the other mountain there, Talat Musa. And then I highlighted this Karak Adag in Turkey and because the, the pillars are up in here too, but the map goes up to, to here. So let me just keep going. So in all of this here, you're going to see this is the Euphrates. There's, you know, by Aleppo, you know, what I showed you. And now, now I'm going to show you the rest, including this out in the desert, this duck. So here's the zoom in part. You can almost see it if you just use your imagination. A little bit here is the Euphrates with the long legs. There's the big bird, right, coming around here. Here's the tail end of the fish. Once again, we've got a square cut off piece, just like by Aleppo, right? The, here's the Tarak Adag up here, uh, um, the, the mountain, and you see it's almost an H shape here. Here's the other, the one laying on the ground, the I shape, these two mountains. And I'm gonna show you a, an image of that. But what's happening is there's a watershed right here. This drains right into here, and then down here, it's one of the main tributaries to the Euphrates. And this is where the head of the fish goes and then it comes back up into here, okay? So here I went ahead and drew it. And just like it is on the pillar, right? Everything's here. So if you could just tell somebody, hey, I'll meet you, you know, at the head of the duck or whatever, you could do that. And especially for harvesting or finding uh, 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 fresh water. Now, um, let me move on to the satellite view and you'll see this. So once again, the duck here, hey, look at that little duck here. See the head of it right there? I'll get to that in a minute. So here's the, the, the tail end of the fish. It would come down into here. Here is the watershed in here. 
and it, it drains right in between these two mountains and then right into here. It's one of the main tributaries, as I said. And up here, as you can see in the shape of that eye pillar, is the mountain. They ski there today in Turkey. So here's a closer view. I went ahead and drew the duck. Go ahead and laugh at me. But it's in the shape just like and in the same place as the pillar. Okay, and that's the main thing, all right, on a physical map that you just know where things are. Okay, so now we're going to go back. This is all pretty much self-explanatory. I want to go back and look at the, the vulture. Oh, the vulture stone, right? Over here. So all these animals will start from the top on down, from Mount Hermon on down, and explain everything. So here's Mount Hermon. Here are the animals I drew in before. So we're going to start with the vulture. I thought that this was the ring on the vulture when I first started my discovery, but it wasn't. I should have listened to the pillar. It's actually right here. The vulture itself is easy, sitting on its ugly legs. It's just the Golan Heights when you, when you go ahead and trace it, right? So finding this was fun. Going on a topographical map, I went to the topographical map and right in here, not coincidentally, is, look at that, there's some sort of volcanic or an impact crater, right? If you zoom in, you'll see it. You can look on your phone, just look up topographical map, topographical map of Syria. And you'll see there's a bunch of high points, like a like a clock dial and a center a center uh, high point. When I went to Google Maps and highlighted each one of them, there they are, right? Not coincidentally on the the wing of of the vulture, right? And you can see the face of it right there. And this is just right now on your phone on Google Maps. Now they would have been actually talking about the flat area where they would have been, not the high points. So th this is the ring right there again, south of Mount Hermon. There it is on the vulture's wing. Just a beautiful thing, right? When I went to satellite image and, and plotted each one, you can see the structure. There's a structure right here and some sort of flow or something. They even use it as a boundary. But uh, there it is right there. And you can see the wing of the vulture right there as well. So that, my friends, is everything, right? And that's why nothing's really pronounced uh, on, on the pillar. Nothing is more important than the next thing. Um, it's just a map because it's just a map. So now when we move down to the other animals, again, the snake, that one's easy. It just goes through. If I zoom in, you'll, you'll see it even winds through there. You know, it's uh, so of course calling a, a river a snake is too easy. The scorpion is my favorite. When you zoom in on that, out here, when you zoom in on this, You'll see the scorpion right there. It's just beautiful with the legs out there and then a small tail here, but it's actually part of a bigger structure, okay? So you've got the main part of the scorpion up here. You've got the long, beautiful tail in here. You've got this bulbous piece right here, even shifting to the left, exactly the way it is on the pillar, right? You've got the scorpion mountains. So there's the, the, uh, the snake, the scorpion. Now we're going to head down to the dog and this beaked animal. All right, down in here. So we draw in here. This one was kind of easy to draw because of the dog. Now, the beaked animals in between the legs of the dog, it would have been tough to chisel. So what they did is just represented it outside of the uh, um, dog's legs. See that in a minute. But let's just zoom in on this. You can see it's got nice and happy. Um, the dog was easy, just, just traced it. As a matter of fact, here how easy that one was. All right, here's the open mouth of the dog. Here's the, the legs. And here is the serpent in between. If I zoom in, you want to see the smile in the, in, the, in the eye? There's the smile up there. There's the eye right there, right? I mean, what are, what are the odds of that when they talk about odds of things, right? So uh, when you look at a satellite image, it's very beautiful in here, right? And then this is where you start seeing the man, the headless piece. See, all of a sudden it comes across here on the back. There's headless. Or here's a headless piece here with an arm coming up. Um, here's the trail going down you know, the shoulder here. And then the penis. There's a couple penises in here. Um, I mean, that's a big candidate right there, right? And then you got a smaller cousin there. And so I went ahead and just trusted the, the pillar and took a shot at it. Again, I'm not a great artist, but uh, uh, on the pillar, it shows, you know, th this, this, this arm coming down. You know, that's, the, that's right where the trail is and the two trails are and where one of the members are down here. And so there you go. That's how it all fits into this part at the bottom of, of the pillar. So that's everything on the pillar, everybody. That's every chisel mark that I can see. It's again, they took it, uh, all the pillars are the same shape. They just took this map and uh, um, draped it over here. The, the reason these are bigger and these are smaller is my, my guess is this was chiseled first and that's in the distance, like it's far away, but it's actually much bigger. Um, it could be that it's less significant. I don't know, but it's all in the same spot. Now, the handbags, I want to say that once again, the handbags, 
a handbag has symmetrical handles on each side. Things would fall out. You, you know, for balance, you have to have that. These are not handbags. There's no evidence of anything of it being anything other than waves, okay? Uh, I want to emphasize that because it comes up a lot in other cultures, and I can see that when they're carrying handbags, but nobody's carrying these handbags with, with alligators and stuff in it like that, right? And then having Cyprus in the, in the future. So, so everybody, there's no astrology, no astronomy, um, no aliens on this that I can see. It's just a map. I'd be interested to see what's on the other side of this pillar if they continued it. But uh, um, this is a map of, of where they lived. The, they just took everything that they had and put it on this map, just folded it down. Right? Just very, very smart people. I mean, here in Jordan, this is 9,000 years ago, they're making mannequins. If they can make mannequins, they can definitely figure out a map, right? Um, so this culture, the Natufians, is awesome. Um, I think Bill O'Reilly should make uh, killing the Natufians. Uh, it would be a hit. This is where they lived. The extent of their, of their land, as you see, right? With Gobekli Tepe up here, just some settlements that they found. In Wikipedia, when you look up about the Natufians, you see where their boundaries are, and look where it starts right in here, right? But we know from Gobekli Tepe, it's actually bigger up in here, right? And just like just like the pillar shows, okay, exactly like I drew on the pillar. I gotta admit, where it stopped here, I just saw that. That's a that's a new coincidence for me. So everybody, this this map. Thank you for watching. I hope I absolutely proved my point because I think I knocked it out of the park. These people wanted to be remembered. Okay, and not just for this pillar, but this pillar was for them to educate themselves. They were educating their young, telling everybody this is a, they started civilization. Okay, a, a thousand years from now, from this pillar, I should say, this is when they started growing wheat out here. If you look up history up in here, this was the cradle of civilization, but clearly it starts before uh, we think it did. So my hat's off to these people. Please leave a comment um, or a question, uh, and uh, I'm going to do a second follow-up because I want to get into some details. Like there are some lines and things on the pillar that, uh, uh, you know, some things on here I'd like to get into more detail about and discuss. But this was just a fact-based uh, video that I wanted to share with the world. This is my gift to the world. I um, hope you're happy with it. Prost!